Okay, welcome to the video everyone. So today we're going to be seeing question 7b from the 1991 HSC 4 unit exam. The question says, let x equal alpha be a root of the quartic polynomial. p of x equals x to the power 4 plus x cubed plus bx squared plus ax plus 1, where 2 plus b all squared is not equal to 4a squared. Okay, part one. Show that alpha cannot be 0, 1, or minus 1. Part two. Show that x equals 1 on alpha is a root. Part three. Deduce that if alpha is a multiple root, then its multiplicity is 2 and 4b equals 8 plus a squared. So I'll probably do this question over two videos because it's quite long. So in this video, I'll do question one and two, or part one and two, and then I'll do part three in the next video. Video. Okay, so let's have a look at part one. So we need to show that alpha cannot be 0, 1, or minus 1. So, part one. We know that alpha is a root, and so p of alpha is equal to 0. Okay, so if alpha cannot be 1, that means p of 0, and p of 1, and p of minus 1, that's what we need to be testing. If alpha cannot be these, we need to test these. So, let's test alpha equal to 0. So, p of 0 is something 0 into this. All the terms with x will become 0, and we'll get just 1. So, we get 1, and that's not equal to 0. So, therefore, alpha can't equal 0, because this does not equal 0. Okay, let's test 1. So, p of 1 is subbing 1 into the polynomial. We get 1 plus a, plus b, plus a, plus 1. Okay, now, if alpha equals 1, then p of 1 is equal to 0, because we know that alpha, p of alpha is equal to 0. So, if alpha equals 1, then p of 1 equals 0. Okay, so that means 1 plus a, plus b, plus a, plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, we can collect like terms, we get 2 plus 2a plus b is equal to 0. We get 2 plus b equals minus 2a. And then from that we can square both sides. We get 2 plus b squared equals, now we square this, it's positive 4a squared. Alright, so this, we get this case if alpha equals 1. But we know from the question that 2 plus b squared cannot equal 4a squared. So we say, but 2 plus b squared is not equal to 4a squared. So therefore, alpha equals minus 1, or cannot equal minus 1. Okay, now we need to test the other root, which was minus 1. So I'm going to use the same sort of argument, p of minus 1 is equal to 1 minus a plus b minus a plus 1. Same thing, if alpha equals minus 1, then p of minus 1 equals 0. Okay, so we set that equal to 0. Equals 0. Now we can collect like terms and move the 2a over to the other side. So I'll just do two steps in one here. So that's a 2 plus b equals 2a. All right now we can square both sides. We get 2 plus b squared is 4a squared. Alright. But, again... 2 plus b squared cannot be equal to 4a squared. And so therefore, alpha cannot equal minus 1. Alright, and so we've shown that alpha cannot equal 0. Alpha cannot equal 1. Oh, that should be a positive 1. So alpha cannot equal 1. And alpha cannot equal minus 1. Okay, so that's the first part of the question. Now the second part, show that x equals 1 on alpha is a root. Okay, so let's have a look at that bit. So we already know that p of 
alpha is equal to zero, since x equals alpha is a root. So p of alpha equals zero. So what is what's p of alpha? That's subbing alpha into this uh, equation up here, this polynomial. So we get alpha to the four plus a alpha cubed plus b alpha squared plus a alpha plus one is equal to zero. All right. Now we want to check p of 1 on alpha. So that's subbing in 1 on alpha for x up here. So we get 1 over alpha to the 4 plus a times 1 on alpha to the 3 plus b 1 on alpha squared plus a 1 on alpha plus 1. Okay, now we can make a common denominator of alpha to the 4. So the way we do that is we times through by alpha to the 4 and divide by alpha to the 4. So when we, do, when we multiply by alpha to the 4, that's going to become 1 plus this is going to become a alpha plus b alpha squared plus a alpha cubed plus alpha to the 4 and all that is over alpha to the 4. Okay. But from up here, so if we call this star, so this becomes 0 over alpha to the 4 from the start equation. And so therefore, p of 1 over alpha is equal to 0. Yep, p of 1 over alpha is equal to 0. And so therefore, x equals 1 over alpha is a root of of x. Okay, so that's the first two parts done, and then the next part will be in another video.